name is Chad Hadley. I am a SolidWorks support engineer here at Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom appearance from an image file such as a JPEG image or bitmap. Uh, first thing we'll want to do is over on the task pane on the appearance photo works tab is to add a new location. If we click on the appearance option, we can go ahead and choose add a file location. We can then browse to the location we would like to add. I've already already gone ahead and done this. I've added the custom appearance folder, which you can see is located on the local C drive. Within that, I have a Haybell image already put in there. To show you this, if I browse to the custom appearance, you can see I've just placed a Haybell, a Haybell JPEG image in this folder. Now I can drag and drop the Haybell uh, image onto the part. From here we can choose to have it applied at a face, boss, body, or part. We'll apply it to the part here. Now we can go ahead and do some additional uh, changes to this appearance. If we click on the part, go to the appearance icon, and we want to change the appearance at the part level. Now we can click on the mapping on the basic tab, or basic option. We have a few different mapping styles with mapping sizes. If we click on the advanced option under mapping, we have more different mapping styles and different sizes and orientation you can choose from. We'll go ahead and choose just a simple basic mapping size. Uh, we'll leave it at the default box mapping and we'll just put a larger size on there. Hit OK. Now we can go ahead and save this and bring this into PhotoView 360 to be rendered. From here we can browse to the part that we created. And we'll do a couple of uh, simple settings here to make the rendering go a little bit quicker here. Once you have your settings and your environment all set up, we can click on the final render option. From here we can see the final render of the image with your custom appearance applied to the component. Please watch our other videos on tips and tricks for SolarWorks help. Thanks for watching.